Richard Krause. I'm well, Bendy. How are you? I am tip-top terrific. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Good. Well, um, let's start by uh, you telling me just a little bit about the character that you play, Kira. Yeah, well, I actually play Kira Cooper in the movie Free Willy Escape from Pirate's Cove. And that was so much fun because it was my first movie. And I, I was so used to documentary filming, so it was so much fun to play someone who I wasn't to play something different. And Kira, Kira was very interesting because she wouldn't take no for an answer. She was trying to rescue this orca called Willie um, because he got washed over the, a lagoon wall and it ended up into this theme park that her grandfather runs. So she's trying to protect this orca. And what I found so interesting was that I can actually really, I could actually really relate to her because at the same time, I am trying to protect the Stevo and Wildlife Reserve from being strip mined. So you can actually go to AustraliaZoo.com and help us save the petition, save the Stevo and Wildlife Reserve by signing the petition. So it was a lot of fun, and I could really reflect on her. Well, it's your acting debut, as you said. What was the biggest challenge for you? The biggest challenge for me, well, in one scene, I actually had to get really, really angry at um, the bad guy in the movie, and I had to get so frustrated that I had to hit him and things like that. And I, I as you probably know, I'd never done anything like that before. So it was really fun. So I got to do that, and when we went back to the trailer, my mom said to me, Mindy, I've never seen you that angry. And I said, you know, I've never seen me that angry either. So it was a lot of fun playing someone different than who I actually was. Right. Well, it's much different. I mean, you're used to being on camera, having done the TV shows and all that stuff before. But this is a different thing for you. Um, what are the differences between shooting the TV show and then uh, making a film like this for you? Yeah, well, with documentary filming, it's basically one take because, uh, say, if an elephant charged, you can't say, oh, we have to get that again. Can you get that elephant to charge again? So it's basically one take. But with movie filming, what you actually do is you do about 25 takes per scene. And so I was so lucky because Bo Bridges helped me all along the way. I worked with him. He played my grandfather in the movie. And he wasn't just there to film. He was a wonderful teacher and I absolutely admire him and I'm so glad that I got to work with him on my first movie because he was such an inspiration for me. Well, he was um, an amazing guy. But you know, really, everyone on the movie set was wonderful and I'm so glad that that was my first movie to start off with because I felt um, everyone was lovely and it was quite, quite enjoyable. Yeah, Bo Bridges, uh, it must have been quite uh, amazing working with him. I mean, he's been doing this for so long and he's such a good actor. Oh, it's true. I mean, the first movie that he's ever done, he was six years old, and so I really, truly admire him. He's an amazing and accomplished actor, and I really do look up to him, and I'm so glad that I got to work with him on this movie. And then also, I got to work with um, Sia. He was he played um, my best friend in the movie, playing Safiso, and he was lovely as well. Uh, we always got to have fun behind the scenes, and we had just a great time together. The director was wonderful as well. His name was Will Geiger. Um, his, ca his kids were actually there um, with us when we were filming, so we got to play with them as well. They were around my age, but we had a great time all around. And, I mean, I'd never been to South Africa before, so it was a new and different experience. Right. Tell me a little bit about shooting in Africa, then. What did you learn about Africa while you were over there? Yeah, well, with Africa, I'd never been there before. Um, my dad had been there uh, filming documentaries, but the places that he'd been to um, were very uh, high malaria risk and some political unrest. So he'd been there before, but I'd never had. So we had a great time going and, going and exploring on my day off. I mean, and also on, at the end of the shoot, we had three days left over. So we got to go on safari, and that was so much fun. But the funny thing was, is while I was filming the movie, my brother got to see South Africa with um, the people who came over with us. So my mum and I were over filming the movie, and Robert just went around seeing everything. He loved chameleons, so I don't think there was a chameleon uncaught in South Africa. <laughs> hey, Robert, he caught them all, I think.
Um, now, uh, what do you hope that people take away from the movie after they see it? What do you hope people learn from it? Well, you know, besides being just a great action-packed movie, there's a lot of wonderful conservation messages in it as well. And also, there's a, it's all about kid empowerment. I mean, Kira Cooper, who I play, um, the little girl, she won't take no for an answer, really. So I think kid empowerment is so important because we're the next decision makers, we're the next voters, and we're the next people making a difference in our world. So it was a really good movie to film on that aspect as well. Right. And um, uh, now you worked, the, the whale that we see in the movie isn't a real whale because they didn't want to uh, keep a whale in captivity for this. So tell me a little bit of working with the animatronic whale. Yeah, well, we really don't want to wreck the magic for anyone, but there was, um, we couldn't really get a baby orca to do what Willie did. So, um, there was a little bit of movie magic involved in that, but it was still a lot of fun, and at the end of the movie, um, I actually, because we were finished and everything like that, I, it was so hard because I didn't want to leave Willie. I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave because I'm going to miss Willie so much, and Mom's like, Cindy, he's, he's, you know, it's not exactly a real orca, so it was a lot of fun and I got very attached to him. Right, and uh, do you have plans to make more movies? I really hope so, I really hope so. I had so much fun in this one, and I really, I, I enjoyed the whole experience of it. I mean, it's my first movie, and I just had a great time. Right, right. Well, congratulations on it, and uh, we'll be looking forward when it comes out on DVD. Thank you very much. Well, it'll be coming out on April 20th, so I hope um, you all enjoy it. Great. Thanks so much, Bindi. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye now. Richard Krause.